Today we're checking out a DaVinci Resolve tool that is designed to help you be a better editor faster. This is a tool that I wish I had when I started out. I have been editing for many, 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 many years. I'm old. Creating a custom animation or keyframe can suck at times. Are there a need for them? Absolutely. However, 90% of the time, I'm just needing to slap something on there to make my life easier because I'm trying to get a video out very quickly. That's where this plugin for DaVinci Resolve is a complete game changer and will make your life that much easier. So one thing that always slows me down is having to create title animations. If I grabbed the text plus so I could do some kind of animations, I would go ahead, change my title, change the font, the size, the tracking, whatever I'm gonna do. And I can do some animations in here or I could hop inside Fusion, animate it, and then go back into our edit page and it's just gonna slow the whole process down. The whole point of this plugin is to make our lives that much easier. So there's a couple different ways we could do this. If we have a text plus, we are gonna go to the effects and if we go right here to the BR Media, we're gonna go to the Anim Suite. We have all these effects that we can pick from. So let's say we like this, we can scroll across and we can see what it's gonna do to the text. That's cool, let's lay that there play that through, it's gonna automatically animate it up for us. Again, if we want to drag this out, it's just gonna to continue to hold the animation for us at the beginning and the end. Let's say we don't wanna do that, we'll hit Command Z, we'll go over here. Let's go back to the text. Over here, under the text, if we go to Effects, we've got all the controls right here. Animation controls, shadow controls, motion blur. Plus, we've got other things that we can change in here. So maybe we don't want it there, maybe we want it a little off-centered. Play that through. Boom, we don't like that, we'll just change that. Maybe we want the size a little bigger, something like that, sure. Because these are animation effects, you can add this to pretty much any video clip you want. I don't recommend doing the text plus and then adding the effects this way. They've actually thought up something even better. If we go over here under our toolbar and we go to titles, drop that little tab down, we've got the BR Media, click that, and he's already got the slide's already done. So let's say we like that swing one. Cool, we'll just drag that up here. Play that through, and that's gonna be the exact same thing. And if we go over here under the inspector titles, he's actually got everything laid out. He's got the text, the animation controls, the shot, and the motion blur, plus the custom controls up here. Whereas the text plus, if we did it this way, we're gonna have to do all the text stuff in here, then go to the effects and have all this stuff here. You don't have the text animations in that. So let's say we wanna do something a little bit different. Let's go to the animation controls. Let's say we wanna make the animation length a little bit longer. So now it will take a little bit longer to get up there. Maybe we want it even shorter. Maybe we're just really trying to burn through that video real fast and we just need that title to slap up. That would be the way to do it. Boom, right there. Let's say we wanna add some, uh, some shaking to it. Maybe just a little bit of a, uh, Handheld, we'll lower the intensity down real low. Boom, now it's kind of moving just a little bit. Want to make it a little, little stronger? Let's just make it a little stronger. Play that through, and that thing is shaking crazy. Maybe we don't want that, so we want none. Maybe we want to reverse it out, so we want it to swipe up, and then we want it to swipe back the direction it came from, so it's swiping back off the screen. Really well thought out. Then, of course, we've got all these controls down here. You got your shadow controls if you don't want a shadow, or if you do, you've got all the controls down here for shadow. If we wanna add some motion blur to this, and of course, this is just one out of many titles. Over here on the left, we can actually swipe through them. We can see which ones they've got. There's so many different ones to choose from that all are customizable. So you could literally just grab this, drop it on a video, you're good to go. That's something that a lot of editors are looking for, is something that makes your life easier, but also gives you control. Now, let's take a look at the effects and really where they shine. So I've got a shot of me from another tutorial right here. And let's say I wanna bring this shot in and I just don't like the hard cut that it does when it just hard cuts to me. So again, toolbar, effects, and then we've got our effects built in right here. And then we can scroll through all these and see which ones that we like that are coming on. Let's say we like that it drops down like that. Maybe I like the shake one, that's kind of cool. Maybe I just like the quick reveal slide. Maybe I want it to flip over like that. Play that through and now it pops up like that. Maybe I wanna change it a little bit. Again, we can customize these by going to the effects. It's got everything right here. Let's go to our animation controls and maybe I like that it comes in but I don't want it to come out that way. Maybe I also want the animation link to be a little longer and that's gonna be a little bit different. I really like how it just gives us some customization that quick 
at our fingertips. Again, there are so many other effects in here. Maybe I wanna do the shake one instead. So let's put the shake one on there, swap that one out, and it's gonna immediately change the look of our video. Every editor has experience having little to no time to experiment and try out effects just to see it not work out good after you've spent maybe hours to days on it. So this is really here to help you out. Before we close this video out, I do wanna mention I have a discount code for you that is a link in the description below. It is Josh H. 20, it's gonna get you 20% off this product that is already really worth the full price, but it's giving you an extra 20% off. So click that link, support a creator, make your life that much easier when you're making videos. That's it for me today. You're amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. See you next time. Peace.